Udaniceratops. Udaniceratops, meaning Udan sire horn face, is a genus of large Leptoceratops a dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period of Mongolia, in what is now the Jadokta Formation. Discovery Udaniceratops was first named by Sergei Kurtsanov in 1992 and the type species is Udaniceratops chidrovi. The holotype was collected in the Udan Sire locality from the Jadokta Formation in Umnagabi Province, dating to the Campanian stage of the late Cretaceous period. The generic name is derived from the name of the locality in which the holotype was found, Udan Sire, and Greek Sirius slash Kappa Rho Alpha Sigma meaning horn and Ops slash Omega Psi meaning face. Udanoceratops is known only from the holotype specimen, a large, almost complete skull which was moderately well preserved. It is the largest Leptoceratops had known so far. In 2007, Udanoceratops saf. Chijovi was described based on a single specimen from the Campani and Stage Barungayo Formation, in Dornagovi Province. Description Udanoceratops was a large ceratopsian, estimated at to have reached nearly 4 meters, 13 feet long with a weight of 700 kilograms, 1,500 pounds. The skull had a short frill and no horns over the eyes or nose. Its skull was about 60 centimeters, 600 millimeters, long. The lower jaw was distinctively robust. Classification Udanoceratops belonged to the Ceratopsia. The name is derived Greek meaning horned face, a group of herbivorous dinosaurs with parrot-like beaks which thrived in North America and Asia during the Cretaceous period. It is placed within the Leptoceratopsidae, as the only Asian representative at the time, along with the North American Leptoceratops, Montanoceratops, and Paranoceratops. Paleobiology Udanoceratops, like all ceratopsians, was a herbivore. The short, deep jaws would have given the animal a powerful bite. The toothless beak would have served to grasp and crop stems or leaves, and as in other Leptoceratopsids, the teeth would have met with an action that combined shearing and crushing. The feeding adaptation seen in Leptoceratopsids suggest a diet of relatively tough food items, however little is known about the plants that grew in the Gobi Desert during the Cretaceous.